All right, guys, this is me talking slower than last time because apparently I talk too fast. Um, how to use style sheets to format basic text or any text. So what I have done here is set up a just a standard document. Got some headings, some fonts, some bits and pieces. We've got paragraph styles open here, and if you can't find that, it's under type, paragraph styles, here. Okay, so... What I, tend, what I always do is you get one page right with all your formatting and things like that and it's a matter of just selecting the text you want to format under paragraph styles, say new and let's put a little paragraph style one in here double click on this one and call that heading okay so I'm literally going to go through format all the stuff that I want formatted new style subheading okay and so on so we'll do the text now I'll just quickly do all these same again new style it keeps making styles here we call that job text or job text if you can't spell we've got last one and this is called quote okay so apart from the bad spelling they're all done and I can and, what, and that's that's it's pretty much that simple. So what you do then is you format your text. You've got heading here that will tell you what they are. So if for some reason you want this to be to change this one, if you select this stuff and make that job text, it will format it to job text. And if this was a quote, if you select the text that you want it to be style sheeted, change that to quote, and it will change it to quote. And the good thing about it is you can edit it. And if you've got a 400 page document. It will edit 400 pages of text. As you can see then, I've left hyphenation on in this heading. So I could turn hyphenation off there, but what it would do was give me a small plus inside of the heading. So that means it's something, it is, it is formatted with the heading style, but I have done something to it, which is the plus. And you can see there's a little window there. It says option click to clear. So if I hold option and click on the heading, it will take it back to the right one. So instead of getting rid of hyphenation there, I want to get rid of it in the style. So double click on the heading, go into hyphenation, turn it off, and here is where all this stuff can be changed. So go OK, so it will fix that. So if my, say for example, I want to edit my job text, I want to put, make it to be a coloured. You can, so you double click over here in the job text one, basic character formats, I might make it a bit smaller, indent spacing color everything's in here okay so character color I do want it black I just want it to be 70% change that to 70 okay and that'll change the entire document and so where style sheets are good so we've got a new page here and in that page I've got text type fill with placeholder text and I know just with a couple of returns I can select all of my text command a Go back to my style sheets and change it to job text. Select the heading text. There's a subheading on that page. And this one is a quote. So you can see that's, that's it basically. So you get your text in there, open up paragraph styles, get your text to the right size, the right everything, create a style sheet, and then you can go back and forth. And sometimes you might want that one just to be bold or to be a different color. So I want that one to be pink. It's it's not, it's still there. It does have a plus next to it, but you don't necessarily need a style sheet for every single bit of text in there, but it does help. But if not, I want to fix that one up. So I'm just going to select the stuff I've made pink, go back in, remember, hold option down, and that will default that back to that. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. And as you, just for one more thing, there's text there, it's all got hyphenation. Job text, double click, go into hyphenation, turn him off, that'll fix the whole job. If I want it to be justified text, same again. As long as I'm in there, double click, indents and spacing, I want it to be full justified and it will justify all my text. Okay, so this is Gav, cheers.